You are watching AP TV. Hello, everyone. This is Ben Dunn, your manga maven, creator of Antarctic Press, still in business, 38 years so far, creator of Ninja High School, and Warrior Nun. Um, today's topic is a little bit something I've thought about for quite some time, is uh, whether or not IPs should be allowed to be transferred to descendants of the original creator. I personally feel that they should not be. I think that once the original creator has passed away and a certain amount of time has elapsed, that uh, descendants should not be able to control the IP anymore. Um, the descendants had nothing to do with the IP. Uh, and they feel some sort of feel some sort of entitlement to the IP, and uh, I I don't think that um, is a good thing. You know, um, <clears throat> if the original creator left in his will that the uh, his descendant can control the IP, then that's one thing. But uh, if not, then the uh, IP should eventually fall into the either into the public domain or should be controlled by uh, whoever is the direct descent descendant. You know, and uh, uh, and that's only if he has any descendants. But uh, anyway, there's a uh, some. Uh, I'm sure there's some people who feel like yes. I, the descendants should deserve, deserve it, but I, I don't think so. Unless they were directly responsible for the creation of the IP, I don't believe that uh, uh, they should be allowed to control it. Anyway, that's my thought. Uh, let me know what you think. Subscribe, please. I have a new, uh, also a new campaign on Case Cutter called Tomorrow Girl. A nice throwback to the uh, classic age of superheroes, but with a little bit of a manga twist. So uh, check it out. Link is below. And until next time, this has been Dunn signing off.